Found the tower. There's hopefully a free shelf inside, somewhere you can stash the supplies. Oh, you should hang on to a couple of the flyers, though.
fantastic. That tower should have everything it needs now. How's the view from up there? It's great to have a hunter like yourself around. I'm grateful for your help with the supplies. I can't wait to hear your Silver Ridge hunting stories. Things have been quiet here recently. But with a hunter of your caliber on the reserve, we're gonna show folks that this is still the best place in the Rockies to hunt. Plus, you're not the only one working with us. We were able to convince Remy Warren to visit, and he's been logging his solo hunts out here for a week or so. He's got a pretty decent following online, so hopefully he's impressed with the reserve. When I proposed using social media to promote the reserve, the board were a little hesitant. But they're giving us a chance to try something new, and I'm sure it'll be worth it. So I suppose you were wondering why I wanted you to grab the flyers, right? There are people who come out here just to visit the lake. I'm fine with people standing on the shore, but until we know exactly what's going on, we need to keep people out of it. I had these flyers made up so we can pin them to our bulletin boards. There's a trail that leads straight to the lake, so I'd like you to pin up one of these flyers at the trailhead. Now the flyers cover the basics, heavy metals, mining waste, and why to avoid diving in. It's not much, but until we know more, it's all we have. The lake is beautiful, and it's always pulled in visitors. It still looks the same as it ever did. Maybe even better, now that it's calm and peaceful. But now, I can't look at it without seeing what it did to my dad. Or what it's doing to the reserve. People discover that we have one contaminated lake and assume that the reserve isn't worth visiting anymore. So far, the local wildlife seems okay. But our bookings for visitors, and especially hunters, have dried up. I have a few contingency plans that I want to try out. I'm a little nervous, though, as our board can be a little... conservative. And if my ideas don't involve pulling in hunters, it can be really tricky to get them on board. It was easier to convince the board to invite yourself and Remy into the reserve, given that you're both hunters with good reputations. I'm glad you said yes. down, one to go. Keep following the trail to the lake. Take a look at the water. If I hadn't told you, would you suspect that the lake was dangerous?
might not be able to monitor the lake 24-7, but at least now people have been warned. Thanks for taking care of that. It's such a strange feeling to be publicizing the very issue that is hurting us at the moment. I know it's the responsible thing to do, but it still feels slightly like self-sabotage. Our summer season has already started, and normally this whole area would be covered with hikers. I've only seen a handful of people in the reserve recently. I'm sure that things will pick up eventually. But every day, I'm reminded that my dad was the major driving force behind this place. It's just bad timing, I suppose. We'd had some other issues with one of the board members. But that's in the past. The best thing to do is to keep pushing forward. I've got some big plans to help turn things around. Who knows? Maybe we'll have this place at full strength by the time my dad gets back in the saddle. I'm talking a lot about family stuff, aren't I? I suppose work and family are the same thing for me, you know? I've been watching my dad do this job since I was a kid. Let's change the subject, shall we? I've got a job that I'd like you to take care of. The big plans I mentioned before. One of these plans is a little passion project of mine. We're gonna need some gear. Repelling gear, actually. And I have stashed a few bags at one of the nearby outposts. And I'd like you to head over there and pick them up. When you can. I've been doing adventure sports for about 10 years or so now. It started with bouldering and rock climbing while I was on a high school trip. Last year, uh, I got an accreditation as an instructor. And I was planning on teaching classes. When my dad got ill, I'll put it on the back burner. But now, I think we have a good opportunity to commit to it. Unfortunately, I'm a little too busy to teach classes just now. But one of my base jumping friends, Sammy, took the same course as me. So she's going to lead the class instead.
tracks are my go-to source for insight into animals in the reserve. Species, number, mood. You can learn a lot about them before you've ever spotted anything. Gear is in here. I packed it into a couple of backpacks. It shouldn't be too heavy.
nearby that Sammy can use to teach her beginners. If I recall correctly, you also have some mountain climbing experience. <laughs> I get it. Those mountain goats aren't easy to catch. There's some good anchoring points at the top of the rock face. If you can get those ropes nice and secure, it'll save Sammy some time and help the class. Myself. Don't let the ropes down. We don't need them getting all tangled up. I really appreciate your help with this one. It's been an uphill battle to get to this point, and I'm disappointed that I can't be there to run the classes myself. If I'm being honest, I have a lot invested. 
tested and the class is going well. There's still some people on the board who are friends with the old chairman. And it seems pretty clear that they don't like me proposing new ideas. Anyway, I'll let Sammy know that we're good to go. I trust her to take care of it. Listen, there might be a situation going on at the moment, and I could really use your help to check it out. It's not just gold and silver mining that took place out here. Even more recently, there was a working uranium mine in the area. When the reserve was established, we took responsibility for keeping it safe. Anyway, the old uranium mine is very rarely a problem. But recently, it appears that one of our neighbors, a guy I went to school with actually, has been spotted camping out around the mine. His name's Bobby Joe Jefferson. He's normally just a nuisance, driving his quad bike around and setting up little shooting ranges with tin cans. He makes the deer and turkeys extra skittish, so the hunters hate him. Can you head over to the mine and see what's going on? He's allowed to hike and camp there, but I don't want him going anywhere near the entrance itself. <laughs> 